Okay, guys, so if you watched part one where I was talking about Tiffany Montgomery and her scrutiny of men and women of God going to Beyonce's concerts, I think there's a conversation that I would love to have with Tiffany Montgomery and many other men and women of God in ministry, which is why do you feel men and women go to those concerts? Where are our concerts for men and women of God who have who want to have entertainment and representation of us. You can't get mad that the secular world is out there reaching souls. It's more so what are we doing to reach those souls in a matter of really talking about the struggles that we deal with because behind every man and woman of God is still a man and a woman. And it's important that we talk through music as about those struggles. So I'm excited about my single and my songs that are coming out this year because they're talking about things that I've never seen before in my community as a woman of God, which is when I hear gospel singers like Kirk Franklin, Kirk Franklin, Tamla Mann, Tasha Bett, um, you know, uh, Lecrae, when they came out, they all faced a lot of scrutiny. And if we're going to talk about it, we got to talk about it as a whole. They faced a lot of scrutiny. They were picked through with a fine tooth comb from their lyrics to their thoughts, to their opinions, to the way they performed. And was it ministry enough? Was it God enough? Was it biblical enough? Was it saved enough? Was it too mainstream? Was it playing with the secular world with a lot of judgment? Versus and still, even with that, I still feel like there was no representation essentially of our actual story of what we go through as men and women of God in ministry, as men and women of God who love the Lord, because we're still men and women of God who are in relationships. We're still men and women of God who are going through things. We're still men and women of God who are overcoming battles, who are coming overcoming addictions, who are overcoming. Um, who are just dealing with everyday life, who are praying and believing God for things and who have a story of struggles and, and things that we've gone through as young men and women of Christ or people growing up in adolescence. We're still out here dating. We're still out here, you know, just trying to figure things out. And that story is only told in the secular world. So I hope to bring that forth with my new singles coming out this year. I'm super excited um, to share that perspective.